Hello, welcome back to A Taste of Bipsy. I'm Alex, your new host, and this is our chef, DQ. DQ. Hello. What are you making with us today? Today I'll be making muffalettas. Ooh, that sounds savory. It is savory. <laughs> First of all, we're gonna start with the basic French bread. This is a small French bread, just as an individual serving. Well, you can get probably about two or three servings out of it, really, if you slice it up for like, you know, a buffet or like For like a, mini muffalettas? A little party. You know, party style. Super Bowl's coming up, man. Oh, yeah. Super Bowl's coming up. We got to get ready. Anyway, you cut your fresh French bread right down the middle. And you have olives, olive mix, which is usually a mixture of black olives, red peppers, celery, and olive oil. You use this. Do you usually let it uh, soak in the olive oil? Or uh, is it something you want to usually do first? You, you no, know, you just want to make this ahead, ahead of time and let it sit. Because the longer it sits, the better it is, really. Ah, okay. So it's definitely something you want to let soak. We have, we have a little Creole mustard. Oh, what's in that? It's, it's really just regular mustard, but they just don't ground it down as far as they do, um, you know, smooth mustard. So it still has the mustard seed in it. It still has the mustard seeds in it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So... Brings out more of a harder flavor. Yes, yeah, more mustard. So we just glad just lightly though. You just no need to get crazy with it. Too much mustard could be a bad thing. You can. Yeah. I learned that in the party a couple years ago. I learned that when I got a water burger. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, and after we have them coated. See I like to put people have different ways of making them up for that. Some people put the olive olive mix right on right on the bread. Some people put them between their meats. Today, I'm gonna put my olive loaf between the meats. Right. And the meats we'll be using today is capicola, which is a form of ham. Ooh. We have that, uh, Do you know where that comes from? What part of the pig? Uh, I think that comes from the tenderloin. I'm not oh, sure. Okay. But I'm a cook, not a butcher. <laughs> and uh, okay, this prosciutto ham right here, mm -hmm. and that comes from the ham, the hind quarter. Okay. I know where that comes from. All right, man. All right. And the salami, which comes from everywhere. <laughs> on the damn pig. <laughs> Salami is delicious. Okay. You can really smell the, the meat just from sitting next to it. It's delicious. Oh, God. We're going to go with the salami first. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to tell you guys. I had some. You could use any cheese you like provolone, mozzarella. What cheese did you use if you want to get that full like New Orleans flavor though? Probably um probably provolone. Provolone? Probably provolone. Provolone is like mozzarella just smoked longer. Yes, right? yes, true, true, true. So yeah, if you if you don't have mozzarella, you can use provolone. It has more of a smoky flavor to it. Yes, yes, and it will have the same taste almost. Well, it, it's nothing to fuss it's not about. As, it's not as creamy. Yeah, it's not as creamy, but it's nothing to complain about. Right, yeah. So, so we said between the meats, you're going to go like you would do... Uh, I do two I layers. Do. I do a layer of salami. Then I do a layer of prosciutto. Right, right. And then that's when I come along with my olive mix. Ah, okay. And then after that, you would put the next meat layer on top and kind of... Make a little pouch of meat and all No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, not okay. yet. This is what happens when you assume things. Not yet. You get a little surprise. <laughs> okay, there's a nice layer of olive mix. Mm. I like a lot of olive mix, and I'm pretty sure you guys will too, so I'm putting a little bit more on that. And that's when I come with my cheese, sir. You put the cheese. <laughs> So that yes. way when you throw it in the oven, it's going yes, to melt around. Yes, oh, right, yes, yes. And my last layer of meat comes to the opposite side of the bread. I gotcha. Most people don't do this, but most people aren't me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like when you put it on there, it makes it easier to close? Uh, that's not really why. It just... Oh, we're it just, just getting the olive juice. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I got oil. a little bit of olive oil out there. It always adds a little flavor when you drizzle it over the other side before you load it up with the meat. So you got a lot of olives, but you still you, you just want that oil right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And it basically has the flavor of everything, right. you know, the peppers and everything melted into it. 
And then we come along with the meat terrier results, <laughs> capicola. And after we do this, we just pop it in the oven for okay. about five minutes. And, and we have a nice muffaletta, which I'll get to right now. All right, he's gonna throw this in the oven and we'll be right back with a taste of Bitsy. My name is Jessica Ingram. I go to Bossier Parish Community College and I'm a fine art photography major. I decided to go to Bipsy because they have the mass communication program that I wanted and also it's very affordable. Bipsy offers a bunch of stuff for their mass communication department. I chose photography because it is my favorite art form and I want to make a career out of it. Bossier Pierce Community College has a studio for their portrait photographers where you can bring in your subjects and control the lighting and the background so that you can get more studio quality images. They also have a complete Mac lab where you can learn things like Photoshop and editing photos and even film. Not only are you learning about the techniques with your camera and posing, but you're also learning about the business side of it. You'll know how to handle your money, how to get your demographic going, and just, you know, pretty much what you need to know to have your own business with photography. It's very, very um, in-depth. It's hands-on, so it's not like you're reading a textbook. You're actually going out in the field and taking pictures and learning from critiquing from the student and the teacher. that we get to learn through peer and professor critique so that you know what, if anything, you did wrong and how to improve your photography and hone your skills. I've come a long way. As you can see, I'm having a gallery. This is my first one. This wouldn't have been possible without Bipsy. I've learned so many techniques and how to pose people, how to just be into the business of it all. professors that I've learned under and their knowledge to help me sharpen my skills, I don't think I'd be where I am at today. It's all because of Bipsy and my teachers that I am as good as I am and I can only hope to improve when I continue to go on. All right, we're back with a taste of Bipsy. Chef DQ has just pulled his muffaletta out of the oven. Man, that looks delicious. I know, doesn't it? Melty cheese. Doesn't it? It looks great. Um, we're gonna just flip it over right fast. All right. And plate it up. Okay, let's go. Easiest setup that I could think of. Boom. You know what? I think I couldn't have done any better than that. Oh, what's that? What are you I, do? I, I couldn't have done any better than that. I couldn't have done any better oh, than that. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. Would to you like it. some, sir? Yes, I would love some. Okay. 
Well, you know, you the one thing that. about muffalettas though, is some people eat them cold uh -huh. and That's they eat I've them hot. Before, so I'm yeah, not, I'm interested in having them like heated. You've never had one warm, huh? No, I have not. Okay, time. I'm going to introduce you to a real muffaletta. Okay. Um, so what do you knife. what all, like what are you looking for? A uh, knife. I think you I got a knife. It. Yeah, got one right here. All right, and that works for us. All right. I'm just gonna cut this down. I might get. Cut this one into three get, three pieces. Get yourself a slice, man. You just you are you've earned it. <laughs> <laughs> you think I did? Yeah, you did. This look good. No, I'm gonna cut it into three. Somebody else might want one. The bread may sound hard on the outside, but it's soft in the middle. That's how you want it. All right. Okay, grab your slice right here. I'll get that end piece right there. There you go, right that there. Crusty end piece. There you go, right there. Tell me how you enjoy that. All right, let's go, dig Put in. Put that in your mouth. Mm. This guy. You definitely taste the olive. Oh, man, that's neat. I love it. He likes the meat. I like it, man. I appreciate it. I think this would be better than one I've actually had down in New Orleans. It's, oh, yeah. <laughs> I had one in New Orleans. That's okay, better. thanks a lot, man. <laughs> but, but how do you like it better, cold or warm? Warm, definitely. Definitely warm. You heard that, people. Always warm your muffaletta. And all right. <laughs> uh, we are going to be signing off on a taste of Bipsy, and we will see you next week. So have a great time and stay in the kitchen. <laughs>